Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we have the Big Agnes Shovel Head Down Jacket. You guys have seen this in some of my previous videos, and I have many people ask about, hey, Luke, what is that jacket that you're wearing? It looks awesome. And folks, I can go ahead and tell you that this jacket is awesome. So go ahead and turn off the review. I will see you guys around. Take care. Yeah, okay. Maybe some people would like more information and that's okay. So this is the Big Agnes shovel head down jacket. 360 time to start off. So with the shovel head jacket, this is a 700 fill down tech. This is a water repellent down. Now, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Just because this this down is a down tech, it's a water repellent treated down, does not mean that this jacket is water Proof. It is not waterproof, folks. I have seen reviews out there. First, let me say the reviews are awesome for this jacket for a good reason. It's a great down jacket. But every once in a while, you will see a review of someone saying, Hey, that jacket's not waterproof, and my down got wet when I was out in the rain. That makes no sense to me at all. Even if the down is treated with a water repellency, does not mean that it is waterproof. Water repellent does not mean waterproof. So remember that, folks. 700 fill. It's extremely warm. It's very compressible. This is a mid-weight down. There's definitely heavier, thicker down jackets out there. I love the color scheme of this jacket. This is the, it's a pumpkin, it's a brown color. So it's like you have the brown on the outside with the orange on the inside. Uh, it is a beautiful jacket, it really is. So with the shovel head jacket, it comes in a number of different colors black, gray, blue, chestnut, and pumpkin, which is what you see right here. It also runs in sizes from small to extra large. This is the small size, and this runs essentially one pound. It is 15.9 ounces. The outer shell material is a lightweight nylon ripstop. The zippers are YKK. Without a doubt, it is one attractive jacket. Now, this is the men's version, naturally, but there is a female version as well, a woman's version out there. You have Thumb holes down here to keep it over your hands, block out some of the wind. Really nice if you have some gloves on. Keeps you just that much more warmer, you know what I mean? You have the YKK zipper down the front. You have hand warming pockets on both sides. Absolutely perfect, both with zippers. Down at the waist, you can pull this nice and tight, block the wind and snow from coming up. On the inside, you have these two mesh pockets, one on each side. With the hood, it's fully adjustable, Whew. so you can face the cold conditions and the snow. Now, when it comes to my experiences with this jacket, I have been testing this out for a number of months now. You know, at 20 degrees with just a t-shirt, I, I was absolutely comfortable. I would not want to go any lower than that with just a t-shirt. That's just me. Everybody's different. Everybody's body's different. So I could wear this jacket at 20 degrees Fahrenheit with just a t-shirt, and I'm fine. You may not be able to. You may need another layer. Everybody's different. That's just how it goes. In the strong winds, it does a good job of blocking it out. Is it going to block it out 100%? No. This is not a technical shell. It's not, it's not going to be 100% waterproof. It's not going to be 100% windproof. And that's okay. That's how this jacket is supposed to perform. What this jacket does, though, is keeps you extremely warm when you're out and about, either hiking, skiing, sitting around a fire, it doesn't matter. One thing that's very apparent is that the baffles are vertical instead of horizontal. I have a number of down jackets, and typically they have horizontal baffles. This one does not. They're all vertical. I consider this to be a, a very aggressive styling. Now, according to Big Agnes, this keeps you warmer. I have no way of testing that out. All I can tell you is that this jacket has kept me nice and warm as I've used it. I, I do like the styling to it, and if it does benefit you, that's awesome. Because I tell you what, this jacket does look cool. I really like that. Most down jackets are kind of loose, kind of baggy, kind of bulky. This one is not. I would say it's a semi-athletic fit. I mean, it allows you to move Thanks to the way that it's cut, it's extremely comfortable. You're gonna be able to do a wide range. The buzzards are out, big time. I wonder if there's something dead up here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks to the way that this jacket is cut, you will be able to do a wide range of activities. You can hike, you can ski, because it's gonna move with you. It's gonna allow you the movement to do what you need to. That's very important. Now you may be wondering, what about cost? 
good question. This jacket right here runs $250. For a down jacket, is that expensive? No, not really. Down jackets are right around this range. Some are way more expensive, some are a little bit cheaper. But I tell you what, for the price, for $250, it is worth it for this jacket. This is a piece that will last you a long time. One important thing I should mention is that on the inside of the jacket, you can see the zipper. You do have this baffle right here, and that blocks out the wind. I cannot begin to tell you how important that is. I can't begin to tell you how many down jackets don't have that feature. You have a down jacket that's going to keep you nice and warm, but when the wind blows, if your jacket doesn't have this, the cold air just goes right through. You feel it right up the middle. So that is a nice feature that they have included with this jacket. So my friends, for our look at the Big Agnes shovel head down jacket, that's pretty much it. It's a great jacket. It is a little bit pricey, but that's just how down products are. Well worth the money. I mean, it really does fit well. It feels great when you're hiking around or just sitting around a fire. This is a piece that I will continue to use for a long time. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do. Until next time, take care. Strength and honor, be well. Ah, uh, okay, maybe you want some... All right, maybe you want some more information.